Hi, Senior Primary. Welcome to our lesson this week. Um, we're going to talk about how God can answer our questions that we have through the scriptures and how he can hear and he does answer our prayers. I am going to first show you guys a couple of books over here. And I want you guys to think about what kind of questions do you have that the book, these books can answer. My first here is a cookbook. So obviously this is a book that we go to when we have questions about what to make or how to make something. And this will answer that for us. Next one I have is a book about dinosaurs. My little boy Jet is obsessed with dinosaurs and he has so many questions about them. Obviously they are not around so he's never been able to actually see one but this book answers a lot of the questions that he has about them. I'm going to show you one last one. My scriptures. I want you guys to think about um, what questions you have or have you had that the scriptures answer. Or And I'm going to give you a second just think about any questions that you can think about that the, the scriptures will answer for you. Okay, so thought about your questions. We are going to talk about a question that Joseph Smith had, and I'm sure most of you already know this. Um, but first, I want to talk a little bit about him. We get to learn a lot about Joseph Smith this year, which is super exciting. And I have a little video I'm going to show that's going to talk for just a second about him. Joseph was born on December 23rd, 1805. He was the fifth of 11 children born to Joseph Smith Sr. and Lucy Mack Smith. They were a close-knit family of farmers who struggled to make a living. They were often forced to move throughout the northeastern United States in order to support themselves. Eventually, the family settled in upstate New York. The Smith family were devout Christians. They read the Bible as a family and attended several churches in the area, searching for one that fit their beliefs. Yet, Joseph was confused by the conflicting teachings. Joseph loved the Bible and the teachings of Jesus, but he was confused by the conflicting opinions of the various churches. One day, while studying the Bible, Joseph read a verse... Okay, so that talks a little bit about um, Joseph, some things that I thought were really interesting. Um or about how there was 11 kids in his family. His family didn't have very much money. Um, Joseph and all of his family, his all siblings, worked really hard. They did a lot of chores and work on the farm. And Joseph actually, because they didn't have very much money, he was not able to go to school and he was taught at home. Um, so I, I feel like he probably didn't feel like, you know, he was anything super special. He had... Kind of a lot of work to do but i think what's awesome about that is that we now know that um all of those things you know his family and how they were so centered on finding a church and christian based um, and taught their kids about the scriptures and about god and about how he worked really hard and had a really good work ethic how all those things really were what were preparing and shaping him to be able to restore the church. And I know that there are things that we're going through in our lives and how we're raised that are also helping to prepare us for um, in the future that we don't even know, um, you know, we don't know what it's preparing us for. Um, I am going to read um, Joseph Smith history. It's one chapter one, verse 10 and 11. And this is going to talk about his question. It says in the midst of this war of words and tumult of opinions. So he's talking about trying to find the right church in here and how there's a lot of war of words, so many different opinions. I think that's awesome to be able to apply to us today in our world. There's so much uncertainty so many different opinions people have. I think it's easy to worry and be unsure about um, what to believe, what's right. And he says, I often said to myself, what is to be done? Who of all these parties are right or are they all wrong together? If any one of them be right, which is it? And how shall I know it? 
while I was laboring under the extreme difficulties caused by the contests of these parties of religionists, I was one day reading the epistle of James, first chapter and fifth verse, which reads, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. So, there is Joseph Smith's question. He's at 14 years old, um, was really unsure, he didn't know which was the true church. And as he was reading the scriptures, he came across that scripture. And what that scripture teaches us is that if you have any question, that you can go to God and you can ask God. Um, and I want you guys, how do you think that affected Joseph, that scripture? Or when you have a question and you find something that, how do you feel like that affects you when you feel like you can find the answer? So he tells us how it made him feel, which is the very next verse, verse 12. He says, Never did any passage of scripture come with more power to the heart of man than this did at this time to mine. It seemed to enter with great force into every feeling of my heart. I reflected on it again and again, knowing that if any person needed wisdom from God, I did. For how to act, I did not know. And unless I could get more wisdom than I then had, I would never know. For the teachers of religion of the different sects understood the same passages of scripture so differently as to destroy all confidence in settling the question by an appeal to the Bible. So my favorite part in here is how it, it struck him so much that he reflected on it again and again, um, knowing that if anyone needed wisdom from God, it was him. And I love that. I love that, you know, it was something that stood out so much to him, that scripture, that it kept coming back to him. And um, then at that time, he believed and he had enough faith in it that he did that. He went and he prayed, um, and it wasn't easy. It was really difficult. He went and prayed and asked Heavenly Father and Jesus what church he should join. And they came back and told him none of them. Um, and I really know, I testify to know that that can be um, applied to us today and that the scriptures and that scripture specifically is for us today. Um, sometimes it, scriptures are so like old, written so long ago. Sometimes it can feel like maybe it's hard for, to apply them to our lives today. Like they, you know, it's, was a different time period, but I know that when I read my scriptures, um, that there's so much that I find in there that I know is written for us and can be applied to us now. James the scripture that stood up to him, James, was actually written not long after Christ's death. So this scripture that was written a while ago, actually, um, long, long before Joseph Smith was born, was actually the thing that was able to, the scripture that was able to touch him at that time. Um, and I know that we can receive answers to our questions through the scriptures and that if we do that and we pray and we ask Heavenly Father that he does hear and he will answer our questions for us. And I say these things in Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you later.